I'll tell you what, I've sold a lot of coffee mugs in my time. I can't even tell you how many, but I've never sold one for $230 before. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are back in the eBay Cape today and we had a great day of sales and we sold something that we've been hoping for. I invested quite a bit of money in something and I was getting a little bit nervous, not too nervous, but a little bit that it was taking a little bit too long to sell and it finally sold today and we recouped our money and made a really nice little profit off of it and I'm gonna let you take a look at that item in just a second as we go up the list because we had a bunch of sales matter of fact we had so many sales I think that I'm gonna split this up over two videos which is really good for January we usually do okay in January because I've listed a bunch during my Christmas break my little time off from school and we're kind of reaping the benefits from it but this January has been pretty good. Thanks in large part to a lot of viewers out there. There seems to be one or two or three viewer sales every single day, and we really do appreciate that. But here is one of those things we talk about a lot on this show, and a lot of viewers out there have been commenting to me and saying, hey, I've parted this out and I've parted that out. I have a little saying, when in doubt, part it out. And, and that's really the case for me. I've done that for years. And here is an example. This thing right here, let me read to you what it says. It says, wire dome holder replacement for a new wave pro infrared oven part only and so this sold for 11 bucks 1098 so what this sold for and it's really light and we have the perfect box for it and it's going to stay under it's going to probably stay under four ounces and so the shipping on this will be really cheap and it'll be like a 650 to seven dollar profit on that item right there all right, here's another example of an item that some people might miss out there. And this came from a garage sale or a yard sale video. If you go back, and I always forget the link stuff, but if you go, maybe if you type in Commonwealth Picker Eat More Chicken, you'll find this video. It's probably in the garage sale playlist, but I'm not sure because it was just one garage sale followed by a What Sold episode in the exact same video. And this one was kind of neat because there really wasn't much there at this yard sale, but they said, hey, the clothes are a quarter. I think it was a quarter. I'm like really quarter and I saw two chick-fil-a shirts brand new in the package I'm like I can sell those and I think they both sold for like $35 a piece and this was with it too two pair of pants and this is the second one and this one sold and this one sold for $15 plus shipping which isn't an unbelievable sell but this thing sold and it's pure profit because the other one sold for 70 bucks and we're into this stuff for like a dollar total so this pair of pants is that it doesn't say chick-fil-a or anything it's just the brand that they use and this thing was already measured out it was easy we just slapped it on a table snapped a picture of it and threw it over there in a bucket and it sold for $15.95 plus shipping so you know it's like a $13 profit on this item maybe 12 I guess because it is plus shipping and this thing sold for a bunch of shipping I must not have put priority mail flat rate envelope on this but that's probably how I'll ship it and I'll either refund the money or I'll see how they did it. I'm not quite sure. But there's quite a bit of shipping cost on this. It looks like 12 bucks on it. So we'll see how we're going to ship it. But we're going to make a nice little profit on that. All right, here's one that I have boxed up in an old uh, baseball card box. And it's Filter Queen. And this is the caddy for the top of a Filter Queen, an old Filter Queen. And I parted that thing out and I debated, do I want to sell this caddy or not? And I'm like, you know, I got this perfect box for it. Let me see if it fits. And then I got that far, I'm like, just package the thing up. And this thing sold for $10 plus shipping. So I don't know. I part off the good part sometimes. This is a pain in the butt. But since I had the right box, I'm going to make 7 bucks on it. We're well into the profit on parting that machine out anyways. I think it's the last piece except for the wand from that particular filter queen. And I've probably made over $100 on that one filter queen. All right, I can't remember where this item came from. And usually when I can't remember where something comes from, it means that Blue Ridge Mama bought it, meaning she probably bought it at the Goodwill. It says $75 on there, Thomas and Friends. Everything's in here. It is used, and so it's a good pickup. It sold for $29 plus shipping, and I think I have the right box for this. You know what's a good box for this one? The number seven box, when you order it from the post office, comes in a big box, and it's going to be perfect. The width is going to be perfect on it, and we'll have to cut down the length just a little bit 
and I think it's just going to be a good box right here. But $29 plus shipping. My guess is from the Goodwill we typically go to or Blue Ridge Mama typically goes to, this thing was probably $6 or less. It could have been as cheap as $2.99 because the one we go to toys are really, really cheap. All right, one more parted out item before we get to some viewer sales. I think there were two of them today, and then I'm going to tell you what sold for a really, really high price today and let you take a look at that. This one is for, this is another replacement part for a New Wave oven. And this is the bag that you can put the whole thing in. It's like a travel bag. And I've sold this thing bit by bit, and I think there's one more part. And right before I started filming this thing, that part sold as well. So we have sold three New Wave oven parts in the same day, and we've already sold off the dome for it. I didn't sell this particular heating element because it had a problem with it, but we've made probably $65 off of that New Wave oven, and I think five parts. So this one sold for $12.81 plus shipping, and it'll go, I'm not sure, I'll have to see. That looks like it's got priority mail on it, but I'm wondering if that thing's going to go first class. I have really big poly bags for something like this that should fit, and I'll weigh that out and see if it'll go. But it's borderline. It's probably just over one pound. I usually am close on things like this, and if I'm not quite sure, I'll weigh them before I list them just to make sure, because you don't want to eat the cost of a priority mail shipping if something is, you know, one ounce over, so... At any rate, it's a really nice sale, and I love parting out new waves, especially the uh, pros. They're really good. All right, and we have an Animan going out to a viewer, and this is a special viewer. This is going out to Dee at Flippin' Particles, and if you've ever seen her, she has a live show. She has a channel, and if you go over there and check that out, that would be awesome. Dee, we hope we want to do two things here. We want to see this thing behind you in your show back there. It better be back there behind you somewhere so we can see it, and... Uh, we hope it brings you good luck on YouTube and it brings you good luck reselling. Thank you so much. Hey, one more. This is going out to a viewer named Kim, and it says, Thank you for helping me learn more about selling on eBay. It sure is a lot of fun. This is going to be in my eBay room, and it's going to be our mascot. God bless you and your family. So we do appreciate it, Kim, and God bless you and your family. All right, we have a couple more items, but I just have to talk about this thing. So... First of all, you're going to think I'm nuts, but I paid $100 for a coffee mug. That's how much I paid for this thing. Now, I bought it from an acquaintance of mine, and I was very confident that we would get money for this, and it would definitely pay for itself. So it wasn't like I was at a garage sale and somebody said, give me $100 for a coffee mug. Uh, this was uh, kind of a private deal, and I paid $100 for this coffee mug. Death Wish Coffee. And these are all numbered if you've ever seen them out there. And a lot of people are new to the channel. I've sold some of these before. So this is 592 out of 3,000. And this is a fairly rare Death Wish coffee mug. It is the Headless Horseman. You know, sleepy hollow fame right there. And it is kind of neat. I think you can see that right there. And there's, like I said, there's only 3,000 of these. And this one I sold for $215. So out the door with taxes and shipping somebody paid two hundred and forty five dollars and eighty six cents so i paid a hundred bucks for this thing so i calculated it down here and i'm going to make about eighty five dollars profit so it's not ideal to spend a hundred dollars and make eighty five but you know think about it for a second would you rather spend one dollar and make ten dollars or would you rather spend $100 and make $85? So there's a couple things you need to keep in consideration here. How much cash can you outlay? Can you outlay $100, bucks, no problem, and wait for five months before you get it back? If you can, then this is a great thing to buy. It's a great thing to buy. If you can't, then this is probably not the thing for you to buy. I have no problem whatsoever spending $100 if I'm going to make an $85 profit no problem whatsoever, especially something like this. You know, I feel really comfortable shipping this thing out, 12 by 12 by 8, no problem. I'm going to put it first in another box, packaged up really well, okay? So now it's in one box, packaged up really well. And then I'm going to take that box, and I'm going to put it in a 12 by 12 by 8, and I'm going to package that up really well. This thing is going to be double boxed. I would not necessarily do that to just any old mug, but this thing's got a lot of money in it. So I'm going to make sure it gets there in one piece. So if you ever see those Death Wish coffee mugs, now they're not all worth that much money, so don't freak out. This is one of the best ones out there. 
but you easily like bare minimum you're gonna get forty dollars for a lot of these if they're numbered you're gonna get a bunch of money for them so the lower the number the better but it's not a huge benefit to have a low number but obviously if you had number one I think it'd bring a little bit more money so keep an eye out for these by the way I've had that since Halloween so I thought it would sell really well at Halloween and it didn't but that's perfectly fine because we're cashing in on it right now all right so the next two sales aren't anything special but I'm still gonna make money on this so this sold for nine dollars and I paid a dollar for it now I bought this with another Buffalo Wild Wings shirt that was bigger this one has a little stain on it right here and it's an extra small so it was a tough one to sell I think the other one went for like fifteen dollars this one only went for nine and it took forever to sell but I'm okay with that too because the other one made pretty pretty good money on it and this one's gonna still make me about four and a quarter maybe just a little bit more than that so it's not amazing I'm not terribly pleased with it but you know what between the two shirts I probably made 15 bucks and I'm okay with that kind of the same deal here with this plain Jane Nike dry fit v-neck shirt two for a dollar is what I paid for this one and it only sold for nine bucks so let's just do the math really quick on that so let's just say it's a dollar forty in fees which is close it's gonna it's gonna ship out for this is really light it may be four ounces let's just say three bucks so three dollars and a dollar forty we'll say 450 on it and I paid 50 so that's five bucks so we're gonna make four dollars on this shirt not a great one I'm not I probably wouldn't do it again but I'm happy it's gone and I'm happy I made four bucks on it if you get a chance go back and check that video out where we bought that chick-fil-a stuff don't forget it says uh, the, the garage sale or the yard sale it makes me want to eat more chicken go check that out and if you want to hang around I'll probably package up that death wish mug and let you take a look at how I do it see you next time Music